Chelsea Stipek. She is uh, working on Jerry's campaign, so we are very pleased to have uh, one of our own come speak so you can kind of get a feel for the people we have on the campaign and people working to get ISA out. She has a master's in political science and she's going to be discussing uh, women in politics with us tonight. Thank you guys for letting me speak tonight and take some of your time. So I'm here to talk to you tonight about women in politics. In a few minutes we're going to be watching a movie and when I heard the title of the movie I wasn't quite sure what it had to do with the election in the 49th district. I mean, I had my own ideas about bringing Daryl Issa back to wherever he came from. But that's not what the movie's about. The movie is about women in Liberia who organized to get rid of Charles Taylor, a brutal dictator. In the movie, there is, there is a moment in the movie, and I want you to listen for it when it comes on. A woman says, peace is not an event. Peace is a process. I'm arguing tonight that the same goes for democracy. Democracy is not an event. We did not arrive in 1776 as a fully formed democratic nation. We've had 200 years to practice democracy, but somehow we still have not elected a female president as they did in Liberia. So we obviously have a ways to go. <sighs> okay, sorry I'm nervous, guys. <laughs> I want to read something that I found on the Republican Party's platform website this morning. We assert every citizen's right to apply religious values to public policy and the right of faith-based organizations to participate fully in public programs without renouncing their beliefs. I want to read that first part again. We assert every citizen's right to apply religious values to public policy. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Jerry said I could cuss. So I asked him on Thursday. Now, I'm a student of history. I'm a student of political science. And our politicians need to go back to Politics 101 because they don't know what the separation of church and state means. The separation of church and state is a bilateral contract. It means as Madison said, that the state operates better without the interference of religion. And religion operates best without the interference of state. It's unethical, it's wrong, and it's anti-American and anti-constitutional to impinge one's own religious views on others through public policy. The separation of church and state was supposed to be a firewall. And the Republicans in Congress and the Republicans who are running for president and vice president right now have made it their mission to, de to take down the firewall. They've made it their mission to impose their religious beliefs on everyone, and that's wrong. And that's why I'm volunteering for Jerry's campaign. I just want to tie this back to the movie really quickly. I think too often we have this idea that because we've been doing democracy for so long, we've got it down pat, but we have a lot to learn from the women in this video. They teach us how we can work as allies with people who are not of the same gender as us, not of the same religion as us, and of different social classes from us. And if we work together, if we do coalition building, we can fight against those who are in power. So I just have to leave you with hope, and I know this is kind of like retro 2008 to do you know, the hope thing, but the political scientists that I study have found that every generation that is born is consistently more liberal than the preceding generations. So these fuckers are on the wrong side of history. <laughs> that I'm devoting my time to Jerry's campaign because I truly believe in him. He doesn't, he doesn't reduce women to single issue voters. He's a true progressive. If he had just been a Democrat, that would have been good enough for me. I still would have come in. But he's a true progressive, and that's why I support him. And so I challenge you all to leave it all out there this election season. Don't, say, don't keep anything back. Don't hold anything back. This is crucial, and we need to band together and do this. Thank you. Woo!